Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and today I'm going to be sharing with you part three of my Christmas Decorate With Me series. On my channel so far, we have decorated two farmhouse Christmas trees. We have decorated my living room in like a cozy neutral theme. And today we are going to be decorating my formal dining room, which also in this current season of life serves as the homeschool room. So this room needs to be both pretty and practical. This is the first year that we have been homeschooling during the holiday season. So I had to tweak my decor ideas just a little bit, but I'm super excited about the inspiration that I have in mind and hopefully it all plays out the way I want it. But if you are new around here, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. That way you do not miss any of my Christmas decorating content or future content that is coming. I am going to be doing a Christmas home tour within the next week or so, and I'm super excited to share that with you guys. But with that being said, let's get on into decorating. To get started, we are once again starting with a fresh, clean slate. I feel like with decorating this year, it has been really beneficial for me to just clear everything out, start with a clean slate, and that way I do not have to move a bunch of stuff around as I'm trying to decorate. So I'm just going to begin by cleaning everything with my Thieves All-Purpose Cleaner, giving it a good wipe down. That way all the surfaces are ready for the Christmas decor. Merry Christmas baby You're a fire and I'm burning Merry Christmas baby It's alright Are you thinking of me? The theme for my holiday decor the past few years has been what I call rustic neutral. Essentially, this is just combining holiday pieces with year-round items to give it more of like a natural wintry look. I feel like this really has helped me stretch my dollar and it also keeps me from having to change my decor completely right after Christmas. A lot of my decor pieces can be stretched through the winter, which is nice. But in this room where I knew we really needed to keep it practical this year with homeschooling, I could not go all out like I did last year. Last year I had a gorgeous tablescape and I will put it in the cards right here if you want to click back on that and check it out. But this year that just wasn't practical with homeschooling. So when I was going through my Christmas decor, I really tried to pull out some year-round pieces that could be stretched into the winter and just keep things like minimal and classic. I do want to go ahead and take a moment and say that all of this holiday decor was found either at Target or at Hobby Lobby, and I'm going to link the items that I can in the description box below. This black reindeer and those two evergreen trees I actually purchased this season from Target, so I know that they are available, and I will link them below in case you want a similar look. Overall, I love the simplistic look of this buffet table and how practical it's going to be for our family. But like I said, I like to decorate in a rustic neutral theme, and I feel like this particular piece really encompasses that look. As you can see, the combination of the evergreen and the pine cone with the gray neutral vase can totally transition into the winter. So come January, when I take down my pieces of Christmas decor, I can leave this piece as is to incorporate into my winter decor, and it really just allows me to stretch my dollar further. That vase and the picks were both found at Target, and I will link them below. But now I am moving on to my centerpiece and a great practical tip if you need to be able to clear off your centerpiece very easily is to put it in a tray. Like I said, we are homeschooling and I am a mommy to six so our table gets used quite a bit and my centerpiece cannot always stay in the middle of the table. So by placing everything on this tray, it's very simplistic for me to just pick it up and move it when we need to use the table, and then I can put it back on as if nothing had happened once we are finished with our task. And I knew this would 
catch up to me I knew this would catch up to me Oh, I knew this would catch up to me And I knew you'd get away So like I said, I am a large family mom. I have six kids, and I think that that is one of the reasons that I love this rustic neutral theme so much. One, because I am super busy, and I do not always have time to change out my decor between the seasons. But two, I feel like the fact that it allows me to stretch my dollar further and allows me to use the pieces for more than one holiday just really makes me feel better about going out and purchasing items for my house. I personally love home decor and I could go crazy in Hobby Lobby, but going into a store with the like year round theme in mind really makes me make practical purchases. So this gray table runner I can use all throughout the year. It does not ever have to change. This tray can be used with various different decor items and even these pieces in the centerpiece. Right now I am adding like Christmas lights to it, but come winter I could take these Christmas lights off and this centerpiece could stay up through the winter as well. I'm always very intrigued to find out how other people decorate their homes and I love watching other decorate with me. But let me know in the comments below what your Christmas decorating theme is. Are you more traditional? Are you rustic? Are you country style? Are you glam? Let me know below. I love hearing how other people decorate their houses. When every day seems oh so tragic But this time of year comes around with silver bells I knew that I wanted to anchor this buffet table on either side because there is a big blank space. And as you saw, I added a simplistic blanket ladder to the other side, which is super practical for us. But on this side, I wanted to add these fun Christmas trees that I found from Walmart. This came in as a pack of three, and these trees are actually super great quality. So you get a three foot tree, a four foot tree, and a five foot tree. And the best part is they actually already come in a galvanized pot. And the galvanized pot actually has concrete down in it, which helps stabilize the tree. So these came in a three pack for $49. I could not believe the price. I will definitely have these linked below. And if you want these for your holiday decor, you need to purchase them quickly because they are selling out fast. Ooh, it makes me feel free again. To finish off this space today, I'm just going to go ahead and give it a good and thorough vacuum. As you know, when you start decorating for Christmas, there is a ton of like flocking and fluff and just general mess that gets all over your floors. So I wanted to go ahead and give it a good clean sweep and straighten everything up. But I do feel like even though I had to keep my decor very simplistic in this current season of life, I was able to accomplish exactly what I set out to do. It is a very beautiful, simplistic, rustic area that I can homeschool in and still host guests in and have that holiday spirit. But thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, I do have a Christmas home tour getting ready to come up. So please be sure to subscribe to my channel so you do not miss that. And I will see you all in the next video. Everything.